Hi, in this video lecture, let's discuss about the synthesis of synchronous sequential circuit using T flip flop. The word description of the problem is to design modulo 8 counter. What is modulo 8 counter? When we divide a number by 8, the possible reminders are from 0 to 7. And since this is a counter, we wanted to count from 0 to 7 and then go back to 0. So we will count as 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. till 7 and then we go back to 0 and start counting like 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So this is the word description of the problem. So since there are 8 different symbols, to represent each of the symbol, we will require 3 bits. Why? There are 8 symbols. This has to be less than or equal to 2 power 3. This relation has to be satisfied. So, we will need 3 bits. We will assume that we are going to use binary bit pattern assignment. So, 0 will be represented as 0, 0, 0 with 3 bits and 1 will be represented as 0, 0, 1, 2 as 0, 1, 0, 3, 0, 1, 1, 4 as 1, 0, 0, 5 as 1, 0, 1, 6 as 1, 1, 0, 7 as 1, 1, 1 and then we will go back. So from 0, 0 the next state will be 0, 0, 1, from 1 the next state will be 2, from 2 the next state will be 3 and so on. And when we reach 7, the next state will be 0 again. You can see that there is no external input that is driving this circuit. So we transit from one state to the other when we receive a clock pulse. With every clock, we transit to next state. That is, with every clock, we keep counting. From the state diagram, we can obtain the binary coded state table. Since there are 3 bits, we have 3 flip-flops. We represent the flip-flops using A0, A1, A2 and we write all possible combination from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1 for the present state. When we are in state 0, the next state will be 0, 0, 1. And from 1, the next state will be 0, 1, 0 and so on. When we reach 1, 1, 1, the next state will be 0, 0, 0. And since we are using the T flip law, again we cannot use this binary coded state table directly. We should get the excitation table of T flip law, which will determine what is the value of present state and what is the value of next state. And for this combination, what should be the input for the T flip flop? This is the excitation table of T flip flop. When the current state is 0 and the next state is 0, we wanted to retain the circuit information. So, the input to the T flip flop should be 0. And when the current state is 0 and the next state is 1, we wanted to complement it so the input for the T flip flop should be 1. And similarly for this combination when the current state is 1 and the next state is 0, we should complement the current state. Therefore, we will supply 1 as input to the T flip flop. And when the current state is 1 and the next state is 1, we wanted to retain the information. Therefore, we will supply 0 as input to T flip flop. So using this excitation table we can get the flip flop input for so flip flop A0, flip flop A1 and flip flop A2. So when A0 is 0 in the present state and it goes to A1 we wanted to complement this information therefore we will supply 1. And when the current state value is 1, the next state value is 0, again we are complementing it and therefore we will supply 1. 
and for all combinations of a naught for the present state and the next state this is how we we keep on complementing the state and therefore we will supply logic 1 to a naught similarly we can find what should be the flip flop input for a1 using the present state and the next state column of a1 and this is what we get and similarly find the flip flop input for a2 so we can use the carnot map three variable carnot map again the inputs are a2 a1 and a0 and for a0 all the blocks are 1 so the input is going to be 1 for a1 and a2 we will compute for a1 there are four ones m6 has to be 0 here because we are retaining the information and therefore this has to be 0 there are only four ones for m1 m3 m5 and m7 there are four ones for a1 for m1 m3 m5 and m7 and that we can mark in this carnot map a2 is varying a1 is varying a0 remains as constant so ta1 that is the flip flop input for a1 is a0 t flip flop input for the in the flip flop a1 is a0 and similarly we can compute for ta2 there are two ones in m3 and m7 that we can mark here and this block is a1 a0 ok so that is the simplified uh, equation for ta2 now using this simplified equation we can get the block diagram we are going to use the t flip flop and there are three t flip flops so draw the t flip flop first and supply the common clock to all the t flip flops this flip flop we are going to label as a0 this is a1 and this is a2 for a0 the t input is always 1 so connect to logic 1 and flip flop input to a1 is a0 so connect this a0 as input to this one and the input to a2 flip flop is a0 a1 so this line is a0 and this input is a1 so we get a0 a1 here as input to this this is the circuit that will perform modulo 8 counter operation